thank you Imran for that lovely introduction. The work you have done over the past five years has been astonishing. Without you, the Patchwork Foundation and this event wouldn't exist. Ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests, thank you very much for attending the Patchwork Foundation Breaking Barriers LGBT Plus event tonight. Your support means a great deal. The reason for this event starts with a 14 year old teenage boy 12 years ago. This boy was surrounded by people who looked the same, acted the same, and sounded the same. They shared the same interests, the same religion, and the sex, and were attracted to the same girls. However, this particular boy was different. He had something inside of him, a feeling that he just couldn't shake. He would lock himself in the bedroom, struggling with his guilt and longing, which left him feeling abnormal, unnatural, and wrong. School told him being gay was wrong. The youth movement he was heavily involved with ran sessions proclaiming that being gay wasn't even real. His family and friends were not much better, often speaking homophobically, unaware and effect of the words that they had on their son, friend and brother. Days, weeks, months and years were taken up fighting these feelings, trying to overcome them. He even tried to pretend he was straight by entering a string of unsuccessful heterosexual relationships. That boy, as you no doubt guessed, was me. Like so many LGBT plus people, it was only after I left the familiarity of home that I truly began to accept myself and my sexuality. Moving away to university and surrounding myself with open-minded people, making friends who are LGBT plus, and learning more about who I was and the world in general instilled in me the bravery to come out to my family. And with the weight of this lifelong secret were lifted from my shoulders, I could finally pursue things I'd always inherently been passionate about. It may not surprise you to learn that one of the things I'm most passionate about is politics. I remained heavily involved with student politics throughout my time at university but worried about leaving the comfort of my newfound home behind. I knew that I wanted to remain involved and support the politics that I believed in, but I was worried that my sexuality would hinder me. I felt this partly due to the lack of LGBT plus representation across the political spectrum. Same-sex marriage was not yet legal, and I felt that LGBT plus equality was largely ignored. This may have been due to there may have been some great LGBT plus and straight politicians fighting for equality, but we were largely, we were largely ignored legislatively, with members of my community still subjected to social ridicule and abuse on a daily basis. I was once again haunted by the same feelings of rejection and fear that I'd grown up with, scared that if I spoke publicly about my sexuality, I too would face the same bigotry. Rather than face these fears head on, I took a step back from politics for nearly two years, focusing my energies instead in trying to fight this bigotry by working for charities such as Stonewall. That was when I found the Patchwork Foundation through their Masterclass Programme and Party Conference Programme. Patchwork exists to engage underrepresented communities and minority communities in politics. Being part of this family has empowered me to overcome my fears and take a stand. <laughs> At Patchwork, our aim is to open doors, whether it's through hosting Get Involved sessions that offer people the chance to learn how to campaign, hosting events such as the London Mayor of Question Time taking place later in the month, or through our Masterclass programme, which this year includes Ian Duncan Smith, Justin Greening, Andrew Marr, as well as a visit at number 10. We also honour great, the great work that MPs do through our MP of the Year Awards with our patron, John Burko. We are here at this event to listen to the amazing work that our panel and chair have done for the LGBT plus community in order to inspire you to, in, to inspire you in the audience to not be afraid to speak out and to engage in politics. I never imagined that I would be organising an event in Parliament with great speakers you will hear from tonight, but the confidence that Patchwork has given me has allowed me to do so. On International Women's Day, it is at that we are at we are joined by um, is that that we enjoy by ins uh, inspirational woman, Angela Eagle, MP, who was the first LGBT plus person to lead Prime Minister's Questions and is currently the most senior LGBT plus person in politics. 
We also have Right Honourable Nick Herbert, who chairs the global LGBT rights all-party parliamentary group, which seeks to ensure LGBT plus people throughout the world have the same legal rights as we do here in the UK. Finally, we have our chair, Ian Dale, who, his show, who through his show on LBC, unashamedly challenges bigotry on a daily basis. Well, that's not just from taxi drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this fight, our fight, is only over when I can finally walk down the street holding hands with my beautiful fiance and life partner, Joe. When a young, young, when a young LGBT plus person can feel they can dream whatever they do without fear of discrimination. When we see a Prime Minister and their same-sex partner entering number 10 without stigma. Everybody gathered here tonight, whatever your background, to join us in this fight, to lead us to support, to lead us and, and ask for your support for the Patchwork Foundation to help us overcome adversity that many of us still face. I would now like to introduce our chair for the evening, LBC broadcaster and renowned publisher, Ian Dale. Thank you.